Hello everyone, uh, this will be a short video about WS12812B 12 12 B, uh, digital RGB LED. Uh, I was uh, testing uh, many approaches of driving these LEDs and uh, yesterday I released free library uh, for ARM Cortex uh, microcontrollers. It's uh, pretty CPU and memory efficient so you can uh, take a look at it. Uh, in this article I explained the uh, different methods of driving waveforms for these LEDs. Here is for example uh, SPI or a timer output uh, but the best is uh, DMA to GPIO. I explain how the waveform is gener generated in this image. And you can read a lot of uh, about this library on my GitHub page, where I explain how it's working under the hood. So yesterday I was finishing my library and I had this set up with uh, two LED strips and. I realized uh, then I can try one thing and I asked myself what will happen if I do ending or oring two signals into the third strip. Theoretically it can work uh, but I wanted to see if it will work in practice so I created this test setup with seven four zero zero NAND gate and another NAND gate. Uh, this one is acting as uh, AND and the second one as OR or gate. So this is my setup. Uh, I need to change exposure exposure a little bit so you can see the colors clearly. So uh, these, t these two LED strips are the input strips and this one is the output and now I try to connect uh, this NAND gate, sorry, AND gate uh, to the output strip. And let's check if the AND gate is really working. So uh, so if I'm ending a red color and a blue color, I will get black color or no color at all because these two colors have nothing in their bit representation in common. So this is why the output uh, LED is black. Then this is yellow, this is cyan and yellow and cyan color has green color in common. So the end is working really. And uh, the next colors are white, red and of course red is the common color. Uh, this is magenta and yellow and again the red is common color of these two. Then we have white white of course is white and the red and green uh, colors there and the representation gives us black pixel, nothing. So now I will change this switch to OR gate and see what uh, colors will come out of it. And again it's working. Let me tune the exposure a little bit. So if I combine red with uh, blue I get magenta. If I combine orange with cyan I will get white and another three colors gives always white. And if I do or logical or on red and green then I get the yellow. And it's working perfectly as it should uh, with this cheat sheet. Now I try to explain why this works. So uh, now on the oscilloscope I have uh, connected uh, probe 1 uh, here and the blue probe here. 
so on the both outputs. And each LED needs uh, 24 bits uh, to display a color. Uh, so you can see first eight bits, uh, which are short, shorter policies, which means zero. Uh, this one is longer. This is a logical one bit. And the first eight bits on both channels are zero, uh, which means the green color is zero. These LEDs uh, don't have uh, RGB format, but uh, green, red, blue. The first LED has a red color in here and on the second channel the first, er first LED has blue color. So here you see 8 bits of zeros. Then in the next 8 bit of red color you see some bits are on. Uh, it's not full 255 because uh, that will be really bright so I gave some lower value here and there is eight uh, zero for blue color and because I have only two channel scope uh, I cheated a little bit and I saved uh, this waveform on output 2 and changed the probe uh, to this point sorry this point where the OR gate output is So now you can clearly see that uh, the waveform of red color is ending with this waveform and it's outputting the logical one. And if I scroll a little bit, uh, then you see that uh, on the output we have some logical ones but we don't have them on uh, output 1 from the MCU so if I will be able to move this saved uh, waveform a little bit you will see that there is logic 1 so it's ended sorry it's ORed together again and this is all if you have any questions you can write them down below and thanks for watching as always see you next time